All right, so today's video is gonna be transparent, pure, open, and honest with you all about my decision. I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video what this is about, just as it relates to my decision to stop selling crystal candles. It came sort of abruptly, you know, just two days ago I made this decision, but I had been thinking about it over and over and over again for the last year and I took the time out to really focus on my why and I realized that the type of stones that I was selling and the type of candles I was selling and the mission there was not in line with what I truly believe so I made this decision a few days ago while watching a church sermon I watch church every single Sunday and what really resonated with me was his discussion about physical idols. This is why we have to be careful when we're doing things like African ancestral worship and going to the Mayans and going to Babylonian things and we're trying to burn sage and we got crystals on our necks and, and we've got all of these kind of dream catchers over our bed and here it is, it is nothing but modern day witchcraft that now we have in imposed upon our atmosphere and our children. Never have any of those things in your house. Why? Because it is a portal. The enemy uses it as a channel to get on the inside of every area. Sometimes the enemy will not show up because ain't nothing there that represent him. But if he got something like a crystal or he got something like a Ouija board or he's got something like that then he's going to slip in and you think in turn that the devil is trying to fight you the truth of the matter is you gave him access and if you give him access he is going to wreak havoc so in 2020 when i lost my job i really stepped into this state of unknowing i had nothing to fall back on and so i found security in my faith I decided to, I watched three sermons, three church sermons every Sunday. I would watch the Bible study on Monday and then I would watch Bible study on Thursday. It was that consistent. New Jerusalem Cathedral in Greensboro, North Carolina. I went to school and college in Greensboro, North Carolina. Fun fact, oh my God, I think I'm getting emotional. Like I'm just about to cry. I am on my cycle, but I'm just thinking about, um, in 2011 when i had uh man god is so amazing like i had been through so much growing up with like trauma physical trauma you know mental trauma i had an abusive sister she caused me to do like things with my cousin like she was just a horrible person in that regard and then i decided to move close to her in North Carolina to be near that energy. So I was in a dark space in 2011. So that's what you would call a trauma bond. Like if you have, oh, this is so good to get out because I've never, I've never recorded a video about her and how that affected me. So today would be that day. And it feels so good. <laughs> oh, that was like a, a relief to say. Um, but typically, if you have been abused, you tend to cling on to that person who's harmed you. So at that point in my life, I was clinging on to someone who I knew this was, this was the worst thing. But the, the crazy thing about God, not crazy, the amazing thing about God is that he will put you in a situation with someone who is harming you and even allow that person that's harming you to help you get away from them. Because she brought me to that church new jerusalem we're back <laughs> yeah this is not gonna be like a soap opera-y thing i, I can hold it together <laughs> but yeah she brought me to that church and i just remember i was a very shy timid person but every time we get to discussing more about how god helps us how, the value of god there's confidence i find my confidence in god and you know it's just something I always knew was real. It didn't matter what I was going through. I just knew, no, God is watching us. And I always would help encourage my sister because I just couldn't understand how she was so mean to me and would do such ugly things to me. But she was such a good person to other people. And then I just remember, you know, at 
home alone when no one's there, she's going to tell, she would tell me her fears and worries and I always try to uplift her. And with that, I learned that the only place that I've created this uplifting energy is from God. And I think that's really where this YouTube channel started is uplifting others through what I've learned from God. And um, back to why I stopped selling crystals, I just remember in 2020 that devotion, there was this immense dedication and focus on placing gratitude every morning and every night. I had a fear in my head. I was like, God took my job away, but he keeps giving me random surprise money. I had money, like I had savings and I have never had that. 2020 was the first year I ever had that. I, I came from poverty. I come from check to check, you know, scraping, messing up your money, messing up your credit. So I didn't have that issue in 2020. And I was like, this is God. I serve God. I don't know how I ended up in this store, but I'd say if I had to guess, it was based upon social media. I, in 2020, work from home. So I'm always on my phone. That's what's been, you know, society has given us that inclination to always review what other people are doing so at that time everyone is discussing more about manifesting law of attraction visualization law of assumption all of these teachings and it's really ingrained in your head everyone was doing this in 2020 it was like a huge wave it's almost like baby boom when i was having babies this is the same it's when everybody was stuck at home they're all trying to create their dream life um it just was happening like that and I fell into the trend and I noticed that some of the people I was watching had like rose quartz and they had amethyst and stuff so I think that that brought me to that store I saw the store in my area it was in the mall and they had stones in the store and so I will buy some I didn't know what they meant but I just assumed that each stone had some impact on my life. And I thought, oh, this is going to give me money. I'm going to buy this stone because it says, like, you'll go into the store and you'll buy a stone or you'll look at the stone and they'll have a description of what it does for you. And I just, oh, this is what it's going to do. And I just remember realizing that that wasn't um, of God when I went into the store after starting my candle business. So I started my candle business at the end of 2020 and I hadn't found any success. Like I was making amazing candles, honey vanilla, maple chai and sweet cream, banana nut bread, sparkling sangria, all these great scents. And I was getting like one sale a month. It was horrible. Uh, and I was feeling really down until I went to the store. Something told me to go in there and I was talking to the manager and I ended up booking a full huge wholesale partnership and that was huge if you have a candle business you're thinking like oh my god no sales to like this big you know bulk sale but there was a catch so I had to purchase their crystals I had to purchase crystals in general which was weird to me I felt weird and the only way that I could justify it in my head was to say that these are just pretty for decoration. That's how I justified it in my head. But I'll never forget the day when I went in the back of the store and I was with one of the managers and she was showing me all the crystals. She was just telling me her thoughts on them. I'm thinking like, oh, God has blessed me so much. Is this going against God? My thought was, is this going against God? And I always remember just realizing or feeling weird about it. Like, I always felt weird about selling these candles. I always felt like this is not what God wants me to do. This is not what I believe in. I have proof of what I believe in because all of these little teachers manifesting LOA, whatever, they have proof of like, oh, this is what I did. I said this 30 times and I put some cinnamon over my shoulder and did all of this stuff and that's how it did for me. But it's like, no. The way God works is he'll like he'll put you in a position and if you actually look for him, he'll show up. So he put me out of a job. I had no job and I sought after him. I was looking for him 
I couldn't find out any answers. I had no idea of what my next step was going to be. I had no idea even about the software sales industry. I was from the hospitality industry, which is t technically, you know, hell. I was from that. I had no idea about the software sales industry, but I just kept placing gratitude to God consistently, working out, um, watching church, and then he gave me a recruiter reached out to me and I got into software sales which tripled my income um, there but before that I had no job and I was just getting unemployment and then I was getting random money from like someone scraped my car I got two thousand um, dollars and um, it was like twenty eight hundred and I didn't like she literally put the smallest white streak on my car and I I did not replace that. I kept the $2,800. But it's just random surprise money. That's how God was blessing me in 2020. So then 2021 hits and that's when I went into that crystal store and started the partnership. And what I remember distinctly about that was that the manager I worked with got fired. And I'm just like, how did she get fired? Like immediately after they partnered with me, the owners partnered with me. And then the owner, found me on line and emailed me and he was like would you like to continue the partnership and I was like sure from there I just kept going in the stores and buying these crystals and putting them in candles um I'm glad that's over okay I think God made that plan that way just to make sure I was like no get out of that stop doing that you know I stopped the partnership in 2022 after i quit my job because that's another part of this story it's all over the place i hope y'all can catch the story i had an opportunity to go inward and really unpack all of my limiting beliefs all of my last year of everything i was doing and i realized that i was not getting a profit from the crystal candle partnership with the malls so i told him and the owner responded with well you can um we could just figure out a way for you to give us cheaper candles because he didn't want to give me more money so i ended up just stop i didn't reply i just haven't talked to him since then it was like november it's february I, i'm never gonna you know sell candles in there again which is perfect because then as you know it's february i realized that not only do i need to stop selling crystal candles for him, but I need to stop selling them in general. Um, then just from there, I realized that I was doing marketing stuff, you know, after I stopped the partnership with him, but I was doing marketing stuff on TikTok, Instagram, I'm doing these videos, and I'm like, I don't believe in this. Like, I'm seeing on TikTok, like, oh, you could manifest with this labradite or this rose quartz, this amethyst, and I'm like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. So that it had been heavy on my mind for the longest and then understanding more about the fact that God doesn't like that you know and of course there's other things I do in life that aren't perfect you know like I have had sex before marriage all of these things that are against the, what God says in the Bible but I just feel like if there's anything you you can do to stay away from witchcraft then do it i felt like that was the direction it was going and i think that that's a primary part of tiktok uh i think that's really the direction tiktok is going just with people immediately you scroll through someone's trying to read your life or say that these numbers cause something in your life that's another thing i was doing i was holding on to angel numbers which can be common as it relates to you know consuming too much demonic content as it relates to like zodiacs manifesting all of that you'll come across angel numbers and angel numbers are the most toxic ungodly just the worst route you can go in because what you're doing is attributing an outcome to a number versus understanding the fact that God creates every plan for every life. It's not about any numbers, it's not about any zodiac signs, it's not about any kind of, you know, uh, 
meditation that you do where you repeat the same thing 50 times. It's, it's more so about aligning with your purpose through positive habits and then uh, prioritizing execution over imagining. Because if you imagine everything, like you're literally living in your head and you have to live out loud in, in reality to see what you want. So oftentimes the people who say they manifested something, they probably just took some proper steps as it relates to if you really want to be a successful YouTuber, they probably just posted every single day. And if you really want to be a successful candle business owner, they probably found a relevant idea to gain an audience. It's not about the devil. Like the devil does not do anything good. Nothing good is coming from that. It's never about a stone. Uh, a, a physical idol does not define who you are, what you can do. And I found myself in my nine to five resisting working there so much that I was forcing myself to just say things I didn't even believe in about my crystals to make more crystal candle money because crystal candles are very popular you will make some money off of them everybody likes to be told a dream tarot card readers are making a lot of money and they're gonna have to live with that I just know that that's not for me I remember my faith in God and the fact that I I watched in real time how he transformed my life. I really went from, you know, trauma as a kid, my sister, my mom, my cousins. It was so, so many things that I don't even, I couldn't even say on, on camera that happened to me that created this sense of, um, Hyper vigilance is what they put on Google. Google said hyper vigilance, hyper independence, detachment, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but I just remember when I would, you know, watch church every Sunday three times, I took notes. And being unemployed, you have time to study. And I think that's the main thing in society that they don't want you to do. They don't want you to study what would better you. They would prefer for you to study what would keep you stagnant, you know, as it relates to social media. So they want you to know what's going on with every single celebrity by heart. But they don't want you to understand that it is imperative for you to uncover how God wanted this world to work so that you can operate in that direction and then you see abundance. I grew up in a home of, they were all Christians, but they didn't speak about the fact that living through God's plan gives you that financial gain you want. Like people don't get that. It's, it's really, it's that simple. It's like one and one, okay, one and one. I thought that that going the God route was the hard way when it's actually the easier way. <laughs> going the eat like God is like the oven and <laughs> and the devil is like, I don't know, McDonald's. <laughs> Cause if you if you do anything at home, like a home cooked meal, it takes more time, it's healthier, it costs less. <laughs> But if you go like to fast food, it costs more, you're hungry after, you know, it's bad for you, it's processed, you could die. It's just the same. So that's really where I have learned to gravitate towards as it relates to my faith. And I remember reciting my notes every night and I'm shy. And when I talk about God, I'm not shy anymore. <laughs> or I'm hyper aware when I talk about God I'm not worried about anybody else anymore it's just so many things that I could scream about how God has helped me versus those crystals I'm like this is not work this is not for me the word of God is something you need to hear often so that it's ingrained in your actions but if you're hearing more about you know, zodiacs, manifesting, all of that, that's ingrained in you and you begin to operate in that direction away from God and you can't do that. So, I don't know, I just something told me to just watch, just watch Bible study and I was listening to him and everything that he was saying was resonating with what it always had in 2020 when I had no idea what the future would hold. I knew that 
the only thing I can control is how I behave. And if I give others more value through what I'm good at, which is encouraging, then that's where I win. But if I spend my life in desperate energy, forcing it, trying to force certain outcomes, I don't see happiness. And I, I, I feel like this was the right time for this. I feel like this is more than me. It's bigger than me. I think that if I would have never quit my job, I probably would still be selling crystal candles right now just because when you're in a corporate environment, your ego is loud. <laughs> like you have the title, you have everyone expecting you to behave a certain way, you have the fear of being inadequate, and all of that washes away when you are on your own and you're able to identify that titles don't matter, other people's opinions do not matter. So I'm focused on getting out of that mindset that you have to do whatever it takes, even if it goes against your morals. So the number one thing that I noticed on my channel was that the videos that got the most views were when I created crystal candles, how to make a crystal candle, crystal candle wholesale, crystal candle restock. That to me, pushed me to keep doing it but going forward there won't be any more crystal candle videos there won't be any more zodiac candles there won't be any more zodiac wax melts none of that because i think that this stuff isn't my focus i, I even had a partnership coming up with this huge social media influencer she was going to post my stuff and i'm going to read y'all what she said <laughs> This is so beautiful. And she just posted a vlog about going to church. So this is, I think God did this on purpose, like just in the same timing. It was like the same day. On Sunday at 7.34, 7.37 p.m., I was hesitant to send this message. Like I was like, ah, I just sent her all of my candles. I sent her zodiac candles and crystal can and the focus candle, which is like this amazing lavender vanilla scent. Oh, I'm still selling the custom fragrances, but I'm not selling the stones. <laughs> By the way, if you want to shop, sensevision.com. But um, I told her, hey, no need to post. I've decided to stop selling candles with crystals. I don't know. Crystals no longer sit right with me because I am a Christian. Thanks for agreeing to do this partnership. Maybe I can send you guys some non-crystal candles one day. So I told her this, and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe... This girl has hundreds of thousands of followers replied to me, which is so hard. Like y'all know, these big brand, big social media influencers are um, busy. They get so many DMs all day. So for her to reply to me, I was like, this is lucky. <laughs> but then I realized that selling all these candles wouldn't sit right with me because I don't believe in, um, having stones in your home I think it's something that is demonic so I don't want to put stones in other people's houses either <laughs> so I told her that and like that's the thing about God when you step out on faith nothing that you are worried about exists anymore if you step if you choose to put your actions in the direction of what God wants you to do it's it's so beautiful how logic is gone, science is gone, you know, limiting beliefs are gone. It's all about you did what I said to do. Now I'm going to show you that I heard you. I'm going to show you that I saw you. So then she replied, <laughs> I totally agree. Wow. OMG. When I opened it, I was so shocked to see the crystals. Wow. God bless you. Exactly. It doesn't, it just doesn't feel right to me. Like it just, every time I would be around um, people and tell them what kind of candles I sell, I'm like, this is kind of weird. Like even at markets, I'm like, this is kind of weird. I don't believe in this stuff. Um, I believe in God. I know how I've seen it. Like I can write it on a report. Like this happened on this date. I did this. I was praying to God on this date. And this date I got this. Like this is I know about God. But this stone, that doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't feel right to me. So um, I just want to make this video to encourage anyone. If you're struggling with something, 
you don't necessarily believe in but it's giving you some sort of monetary gain i would say release that release the monetary gain you get from something you don't believe in because god will show you a huge a crazier amount of blessings that i've never really talked about god on this channel and it's such an emotional experience it could be because i'm on my cycle but i but i'm at the end of it i'm like at the end of it i just think it's more so about something shifting in this like if I, I felt different doing it too i scraped every one of these candles because they all had stones in them that's why there's like those indents you can see that there's like indents in there i pulled every i digged it all out with my my nails I all the crystals out i had these big stones um it was like a few hundred dollars of stones not a lot but I took all of those stones out of those candles and um, yeah, I just decided to stop selling them and and I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Definitely comment down below what you think of my decision. Uh, it was kind of a little emotional at first as well as recently, but I just think that this is necessary to post and I, I would love to hear what you guys think and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your moment, your, your next hour. Just live in your purpose, you know, focus on your values and love life. Okay, bye.